Hi, I'm Luke Hart, and this is my review on the Lost Beach Buggy by Matt Biolos and Taj Bio. It's a every wave, every man's shortboard, a uh, little bit more volume, a little bit more width, um, still high performance being the uh, the main character, the main idea behind it. So yeah, that's the uh, Beach Buggy by Lost. This is a uh, Taj Burrow's uh, signature model um, for less than perfect conditions, like he ever gets to surf less than perfect waves. <laughs> but when when he does. Um, portage he has to get on the uh, the beach buggy which is is basically your your every man's shortboard you know it's it's got more volume than a standard shortboard it's got more more curve than a standard shortboard um, more a wider nose than a standard shortboard and a wider tail than a standard shortboard similar characteristics in the rocker and the uh, and the concaves and the rail shape just just everything a little bit a little bit bigger like a you know like a hot curvy woman rather than a, a reiki model sort of sort of idea um so first thing when i pick it up is that i can feel the feel the extra volume through the rail which is you know it's obviously going to have you sitting higher in the water so when the wave's got less power you're going to be you're, you're not going to have as much uh as much pulling you back in terms of water you're going to be sitting higher in the water so it's going to be going faster um if we uh look at the outline it's 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 got a nice amount of curve. It's like I said, it is. It's still very short boardy, but it's got a little bit more curve, which is going to make the turning radius a little easier. Which is obviously great when you've got less power in the wave because you're having to throw your, you're going to have to use your own momentum more in weaker waves rather than using the waves' momentum. So this board, the outline is going to help you do that through turns. Um, tail pulls into you know very similar to a short board, a little bit wider, but the, you know still got that kind of soft hip. Um, and that relatively foiled out um, tail to give you nice, nice amount of response. Uh, and then when you come up to the nose, it's got a wider nose template, which is just going to help with stability and, and paddling going forward. Um, uh, you know, landing airs and stuff like that. It's going to be always, always easier when you've got a slightly wider nose to to have a little bit more control over your board in in terms of stability um, when you're coming off rail. Uh, if we flip the board over and take a look at the concaves, the they start right up in the entry of the nose. It's single concaves. They're coming right through the board. The single concave maxes out at probably, probably midway. No, it carries on actually, sorry. It gets deeper through the tail into a spine double. Then it starts relaxing and it comes off the tail and just you just got a nice flat in the tail there. So it's gonna send loads of water through the bottom of the board, keeping you, giving you loads and loads of lift really accentuates here in the curve of the rail rocker, which means you're gonna have loads of water rushing through the tail when you've got it on edge, which is, is great for hold and speed. Um, so it'll be like smooth, a smooth kind of feeling whippy turn, which I'm sure when you watch Taj Burrow's footage surfing this kind of board, you, you'll really see that through, through his turns, he's putting a lot of power and torque into him. The board's just holding really nicely even though you're looking at the wave and there's, there's no, not much power in the wave, you're thinking, where the hell did he get that from? Well, that would be the, that, that would be the deep single and the curve in the, in the rail line here and the bite of the hard edge. Um, as, the, as the concave comes through the tail, it flattens out and gives you just that little bit of flat behind the back fin, even, even maybe a very light bit of V, and it's just gonna give you nice rail to rail transition. Um, so yeah, you know, similar. It's like a over exaggerated version, bottom shape of a of a, of a high performance shortboard, um, which is geared up towards having weaker waves. Um, the rockers are still fairly curvy. I mean, you've got definitely a little bit more relaxed entry, uh, more more board in the water to give you a bit more forward momentum. Um, you know, which is going to be great for speed and and and. and making your own speed in, in, in less than in less than perfect waves. So the entry's fairly relaxed compared to a standard shortboard. And the tail, you know, it's it's still got a um nice amount of tail kick, but it's it, it's de certainly slightly flatter than a shortboard. Um not not much. You know, you've still got a lot of uh you'll still get a lot of hold and it'll fit in the pocket really nicely, but it is just re relax that ever so slightly just to be able to cope with with um you know lax waves. Um yeah so that's basically the uh, what I can say about the beach buggy. Uh, watch Taj Surf it because he's ripping on it, and um, it's definitely working for him. And if, if you're looking for a, you know a board for a high performance board for summer that's going to catch a few more waves than your standard short board, um, then yeah, have a look at the beach buggy.